Hello my friends! In this lesson we will solve the following problem. We will find the customers who bought more than 4 times last 8 weeks. This lesson was suggested by our friend and subscriber Elias Nassif who asked for this solution. I will use a solution implying Power Query and DAX you can solve it in multiple ways, but I like this solution because it shows you a technique in Power Query and a technique in DAX. As you can see in the screen, I think the two of them, it's a match made in heaven. So, let's see now what is the table. Our table has three columns, customer, date and amount. And we want to see what customers bought more than four times in the last eight weeks. Here I highlighted in uh, yellow the period concerning the eight weeks. I will upload this in Power BI and we see the solution there. Here we have the table, here it's called table 11. The first step is Power Query. We will create another column that will indicate if the transaction of the customer is inside our interval of 8 weeks. So, we edit the query and we go to Add Column, Custom Column. We will call this column customer in interval. And the formula will be this. If the amount is different than zero and the difference between now and the date of the transaction is less than 56, 56 meaning, meaning 8 weeks multiplied by 7 days, then will uh, appear customer in interval in that row, else null. Here for the difference we have to be careful to use this function duration.days to make the difference and then for the date time dot local now to wrap it with this function date that from okay so we have now the flag if the transaction is in our interval now we will go to DAX to calculate the customers that bought more than four times first we will create a measure to count the number of customers so count of customers, we will use the function calculate. So to calculate the count of the column customer, with the filter, the condition that the column customer interval to not be null. Okay, so to count only when the customer is in the interval of eight weeks. And now we will create a visual where we have the customer and the count of customers. And we see that we have them already counted and we see the customers that have more than four transactions. But now we will create a special formula that shows us only those customers that we want. So we will create another measure that we will call four times last weeks. Exactly what we want. Okay? With a simple condition, if count of customers, our previous measure is bigger or equal with 4, to show count of customers. Okay? We put it also in the table. And we see that we have what we want. However, 
I don't like the fact that we have again the total count of customer here which doesn't make any sense. Now to get rid of that total we have to put this condition if has one value the customer column so only when there is one customer on the row to present it. So we go to our formula we comment the previous one and we wrap it with an other if if has one value table 11 customer then our formal condition. So now we see that we do not have the total and we have the measure that we want. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.